What's going on YouTube? Phil here with BLP3 Motors and guys we have some more awesome car news for you today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the 2020 Chevy C8 Corvette and that it will start at $59,995. Now we didn't know some of the specifics that were in the vehicle but as of today we do have those specific information on the base model, what's going to come and, and a couple other trims. So if you guys appreciate the information make sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new but guys without further ado let's get into the information. Chevy said the mid-engine C8 Corvette would cost under $60,000 when the car launched, but didn't reveal the specifics, like I said earlier. But now we know for sure, the 1LT base model will start at $59,995, Chevy said Thursday, with two other more leathery trims tacking on several thousand more. Now here are the prices and trims. The 1LT comes at $59,995. The 1LT is the car for driving purists who want the lightest Stingray possible, but one that's still very well equipped. So that comes with Bose premium 10 speaker system, standard 8-way powered GT1 seats, driver mode selector, and all season performance tires. Now the 2LT starts at $67,295. The 2LT adds a number of comfort and convenience features in addition to color matched interior options and includes everything in the 1LT plus you get additional interior color options, the Bose Performance Series 14 speaker audio system, heated vented seats and heated steering wheel, available GT2 seats in Napa leather and heads up display and PDR. Now the 3LT comes in at $71,945. The 3LT is the utmost in luxury performance with a leather wrap interior and it includes everything in the 2LT plus you get a 13 interior color option, choice, uh, you get custom leather wrap instrument panel and door, suede microfiber upper interior trim, and standard GT2 seats in Napa leather. We've said previously that the only other thing that matters about this car is price, since if Chevy has priced this car at $100,000 or more, there wouldn't have been much point since this ostensible point of this Corvette is to offer an exotic car platform at an attainable price. At $59,995, which includes the destination charge, the 2020 Corvette is just $1,005 more than the 2019 Corvette, though the 2LT trim is $3,850 more than its 2019 counterpart. The automatic front suspension system lift system that Chevy showed off for the Corvette's launch only available on the 2LT and 3LT trims will be an extra $1,495 per roadshow. And any of the trims can get the Z51 performance package, which is another $5,000 and adds 5 horsepower and 5 pound-feet of torque to the 6.2 liter V8 output thanks to the performance exhaust. The Z51 package will also offer bigger Brembo bags, a rear spoiler, summer tires, electronic limited slip differential, a front splinter, and a performance suspension. Every trim will have an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission and rear-wheel drive. The 2020 C8 Corvette is almost sold out already, guys, so the information is basically neither here nor there. The first buyers were going to buy this thing up probably no matter what it cost, but for the rest of us, it's good to know the Corvette pricing hasn't yet gone into the stratosphere. So, guys, there you have it. The 2020 Chevy C8 Corvette is going to start at $59,995. I really think the Z51 package is worth it. I think that the bigger brakes, the rear spoiler, the summer tires, and the limited slip diff, uh, and you know, the performance front splitter and the suspension, that stuff's worth it for me. For five grand, I mean, it adds five horsepower and five pound feet of torque, but eh, you know, that's neither here nor there. I just think the look of the Z51 package is, it just looks a ton better. But what do you guys think? I want to know in the comment section below. The information here says that the Corvettes are almost pretty much sold out, so I mean, for me, I was probably thinking about buying a Gen 2 because <laughs> I have to save up for something like that, and we're still paying off the uh, the Mustang. So anyway, guys, in the comment section below, let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think? Again, if you have not already liked this video, please like the video and consider subscribing if you're new. But guys, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the comment section. It's a good one.